Hey friends, we had our first rose to bloom this week. Spring is just coming right along. And we also finished up this space here between the porches in the breezeway. And so I'm gonna be sharing that with you today. But first off, I'm gonna be sharing about how we put in a sprinkler system. Chris rented a ditcher from Home Depot to make the ditching much easier to put the water pipes in the sprinkler heads in. As you can probably tell, the wind was absolutely horrible the day we were doing this. So since it was kind of a one-man show for a little while, I left it to him and I had to take a break and get out of the wind. So he finished ditching. We are back out here today working on our irrigation ditches and Chris got them all dug yesterday and as you could probably tell in the video it was so bad windy yesterday that we did have some areas that got filled back in with dirt so we've been out here today hand digging a, f a few areas to get the dirt back out of them but now we have it all cleaned out and we are ready to put the pipe in And then we'll be putting sprinkler heads up. I'm so excited to have that done. And just look at the green grass that's popping up. I am so happy to see that. We'll have one more over here on this side of the yard. From where our dining room is, we're gonna put a gate right there beside the dining room and then the fence post will be right there if you can see that brick and that flag this water line will go down to that corner of the fence there's a brick right there where our other fence post will be and then it will go straight across here and we will have our yard Kind of done. <laughs> and as usual, sometimes we get the cart before the horse, and so we probably should have done all this before we ever started putting any sod in. But that's not always the way we do things, so we had to dig up part of our grass, of course, doing this, and but we still have a lot more grass to put down, sod anyway. So hopefully we will get it put in and all of this that we've where we've dug will grow back in nice and we'll have our sprinkler system done and we will get to have some grass. <laughs> the first sprinkler head is in. This was the second one put in, and we have seven to go. You can get the sprinkler heads and the blue PEX pipe at just about any local hardware store. I believe we got most all of our stuff at Home Depot. Chris likes to mark the end of the pipe so far back that he will know for sure when he gets his connections on that he's got them on the pipe far enough. Once it's connected, it is ready to go into the ditch and get covered up. You just want to be sure and keep your sprinkler head at a good level because you have to remember you're gonna be mowing over it and so you don't want it to stick up above the ground too high. And so we just used a 
stick handle from a little rake that we had there and that's what we used for a guide to lay across and make sure that it looked like it was going to be a good height compared to what the yard would be once the sod is laid and we have grass growing. All of our sprinklers won't be coming on at the same time. They'll be set to come on where two or three comes on at a time. So that way all of them will have good water pressure to reach the maximum amount of yard that they can. Once everything's installed, then comes the fun part of getting to cover the ditches all back up. Now to see if they're actually going to work. What a wonderful sound. No more dragging around hoses and makeshift sprinklers for the grass this summer. The yard is still a mess, but that's okay. We'll be getting it all cleaned up and getting some more sod put in. And before we know it, we'll have green grass everywhere. But for right now, I am gonna get back to work on this area. 
in our breezeway and get it all finished up with some pea gravel or actually it's a size bigger than pea gravel but I think it's gonna make all the difference in giving this a finished look. I just love the color in this rock. Most of the time it's recommended to use a landscaping fabric of some kind to go under pea gravel or any kind of rock when you're doing it like this. But we really didn't want to have to use a landscaping fabric, so we opted to use a white caliche. And it's just a type of rock that's in our area that, um, it's real powdery, but yet has chunks of rocks too. And it just binds together differently from like a regular gravel. And so we put it down first and we are expecting it to just kind of hold the pretty gravel on top of it. I'm just filling in these spaces between the stepping stones and then leveling out all the rest of the area with about the same amount of gravel. So it's probably only about an inch of gravel on top. Then I will just continue to spread a nice layer of gravel out all over this area until it's all covered up. Some areas I may have to use a little more just because it may not be completely level. So I'm gonna do my best to get it all level and get all the white rock covered up.
When your dog is so little, a shovel handle blocks her path. Here, Sylv, let me move that for you. And finally, this area is complete. And even Sophie and Sylvie use the stepping stones that we put in. They are so funny. They think we do everything just for them. 
Now everything just needs to grow and fill in and I will link some other videos down below where we've worked on these projects up to this point in case you want to take a look at those. And until the next video, just thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next one.